All data collected in the homeless count is also displayed in real time through an operations dashboard that provides commonly requested count statistics and an interactive map where you can display individual points or something like a heat map to protect individual locations. The dashboard can be easily customized to include additional details like the location of at-risk communities and how they're performing on different user-defined indicators. So here, if I look at this first um, tab, I can see a total count of homeless individuals that have been um, surveyed. I can get that information broken down by sheltered and unsheltered. I click to my second tab, I can get a further breakdown by the number of adults and children and the number of individual survey respondents that indicated they were veterans. On my third tab, I can see information related to chronic homelessness on the number of individuals that reported this was their first time being homeless and ones that um, had been homeless multiple times. I can see the average days homeless as well as the total days homeless, all statistics that are commonly requested during counts and that executives like to have insight into. Those first three tabs are, are based on the standard out-of-the-box configuration of this tool. If I click onto the next tab, uh, I've customized this dashboard to include some metrics on different statistics that we're tracking that we feel put homeless um, put communities at higher risk for um, homelessness. Um, in this particular example, I'm going to go ahead and zoom into the downtown Columbia area and click on one of these individual communities here. And then I can get information um, about this community related to um, the median home values and the lack of affordable housing and rent, the unemployment rates um, and the poverty levels, and information on um, the number of community members carrying um, different types of insurance. This information is presented um, in this dialog here, as well as in informative um, charts that I can review. I can even go in and turn on and off different layers here and maybe even turn on things like an um, aerial imagery so I can get a little bit more context on where these um, individuals are located at. I can see the information here that's displayed on the side um, for the individual community. I can see what the unemployment rate is for this um, location as well as how it compares to the county unemployment rate and my target value. And in this particular example, this community has a higher rate of 8.4 than the county average and my target. I've configured four other tabs on here to track other types of metrics that um, I'm monitoring um, related to poverty um, with a widget here um, showing the poverty levels and the fact that this community is above the target poverty rate that we've identified and information on the availability of affordable housing um, based on um, average home value um, and the average rent and information on the level of individuals that are insured in this particular area. All risk factors we consider putting communities and individuals at higher risk for homelessness. That is the Homeless Count Dashboard.